Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how to install a custom logo in your Flexibility 3 WordPress theme. Now, I've already created my custom logo. Uh, you can go to the section on the website that shows you how to create this, and then uh, come back here and uh, get it installed. It's actually a very, very simple process. Okay, if you click in header within your flexibility theme back office, okay, you've got something here that says blog logo. And it gives you instructions right here. If you want to use a logo graphic instead of text, upload your logo to the media library and paste the full URL of the image. Okay, so this is very simple to do. So what you do is you come over here and you click on media. and you click add new we're gonna go out and we're gonna select the file here's mine blog setup header open okay my alternate text what I like to do is I like to put my actual blog name in as the uh, uh, the alternate text and so then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the URL while I'm here because I'm going to have to paste this back into the header field in the in the theme so I go save all changes and it's 960 by 206 okay so the 960 is pretty standard but I need to know that it's 206 high so when I come back in here, see my header height, I need to set it to 206. I want the, the title and the top padding to be 0. And then I'm going to paste the URL in here. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say transparent header. And basically what that does is if there's any kind of a background, it just gets rid of it so that it doesn't show through. I'm going to save changes. And then when I come back over to my blog and I refresh, there you go. There's my custom header. Okay, now the one other thing I want to do is I want to move this search bar down to the menu bar. So I come back over here and I believe display search box in header. And so you say yes. Okay, but I want my search box's top margin to be 206 because that's how big my header is. Okay, you click Save Changes. You come and you refresh your blog. And now the search bar is down here in the menu bar. So it kind of keeps this area clean. And I like to have the, the RSS feed right up here even though I've, I've got the slider you know I, I want people to be subscribing to my RSS feed on my blog so then for the the search what you can also do is I can say I can I can set it to a different graphic if I want so right now it's set to this um, the top mesh uh, I could set it to something else if I wanted to I could set it to retro so let's see what that looks like let me refresh and come back over here and that is really funky looking I don't know that I will leave it like that but you get the idea alright so all you need to do to install your custom header is come into your theme click header make sure that the height is the same height as the header graphic that you've got okay and the height is right here if you come over to media and you come over here to your uh, your header graphic and it gives you the dimensions right here so it's 206 high so that's how you know how high it is okay it's that simple and then back over in your theme you just make sure that you set your header 
to 206 and then make sure that this is zero otherwise what it does is I will show you what that does if I leave it at 20 like it was and we refresh that and we come back over here it, it's not as clean it, it leaves this uh, a little bit of the the header that was there at the top okay so you just want to set that to zero so that you don't have that okay save changes come back over here and refresh and it just cleans the whole thing up okay so it looks really good all right and that's how you install a custom header thanks everyone we'll see you in the next video